In computer graphics, I think one of the most important things is rendering. Because no matter how brilliant your scene is, the quality of renders can either make it look better or worse. However, this always comes with a price that you and I have experienced at some point. Because throughout its history, rendering has always been notorious for taking a long time. But in recent years, there was a collection of real-time render engines that came to the rescue by providing exceptional speed and quality. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the best real-time render engines that you should probably consider. Next in line, we have Keyshot, which is a suite of 3D visualization tools specialized for all the needs of professionals, including industrial designers, graphic designers, engineers, and CG specialists. The company was founded by the brothers Henrik and Klaus van Jensen, and according to their website, it was the first real-time ray tracing software that used a physically correct render engine based on scientific research in material representation and global illumination. The software remains loyal to the real-time design philosophy, which it was built upon, where every change you can make is instantly updated. So you can evaluate the results in just a few seconds, without having to switch back and forth between the different render modes. On top of that, you can place hyper-realistic lighting through even the most complex scene with just a few clicks, which is a huge time saver. And Keyshot scientific algorithms will do the heavy lifting, and just like some of the previous alternatives on this list, it supports a built-in live linking and synchronization system with more than 30 supported file formats. Let's now jump to Blender, an iconic software that needs no introduction and was part of the real-time lineup of engines. Following the release of Eevee in Blender 2.8 back in 2019, which has made a significant impact upon its debut due to the photorealistic real-time capabilities it has, since it was unusual at the time for this type of software to have it. It is also based on physical-based rendering and supports scene space reflection to simulate reflections on surfaces such as water and mirrors. And it is also capable of rendering shadows, but it still falls short in terms of quality due to its lack of global illumination. And even there is an add-on that tackles this long-lasting issue and further enhances the engine. It may still not be as realistic as some other engines, but it is fantastic, plus it is completely free. For our next engine, we have Twinmotion a software that originated in Strasbourg, France, and was developed by two architects, Raphael Pirat and Laurent Vidal, along with a group of programmers to provide a more imaginative and innovative environment for showcasing architectural projects, and over time, the engine evolved into a version that we know today. Generally speaking, this render engine targets fields such as ArcVis, product design, automotive, and fashion, but needless to say, it can be used for pretty much anything and everything. And to rise to the challenge of this caliber, the engine comes with high-quality real-time visualizations, a weather system, growth animation for things like trees, and even the ability to set up time of the day, along with a library of ready-to-use resources. But that's not everything, because it also offers high-quality animations, such as rendering plan views, showing sections through buildings and visualizing construction phases over time, as well as a one-click synchronization with software such as Rhino, SketchUp Pro, and SolidWorks. This allows us to make adjustments and modifications to the designs directly within the modeling software and have them updated in the engine. I think one of the most obvious choices to start with is gonna be Unreal Engine, a software with origins dating back to 1995, when Tim Sweeney, the founder of Epic Games, started writing the first version of the engine. Fast forward to today, it has become a dominant force in the world of game development, but also in real-time rendering, especially after the debut of Unreal Engine 5 in April 2020 where it managed to achieve an impressive level of success, but why this is the case. 
Well, firstly, Admiral Engine is a software that is known for its exceptional lumen global illumination, which can be best described as a dynamic system that actively interacts with your scene and generates realistic indirect lighting in addition to reflections. It achieved this through real-time ray tracing, which many of you may know already. If you don't, it is simply a method of computer graphics that replicates the physical behavior of light in the real world to simulate reflections, shadows, and ambient occlusion. Besides, Unreal also supports Nanite, which is a technology that can render a massive amount of 3D assets to some extent. In addition to its impressive set of environment building tools and the gigantic library of assets that Unreal offers through Quixel, among many other features, which makes it yet another impressive engine on our list. But the next one is not less impressive. Next, we're gonna talk about D5. D5 Render is one of the best upcoming real-time rendering solutions for architects. In addition to interior designers, archivists, artists, engineers, and visualization professionals in general, D5 has a very simple and user-friendly interface for creating high quality renders and you can do that quickly. One of the highlights of D5 is its extensive asset library of 3D models, materials and textures which will help you build scenes very fast. D5 also offers cutting edge lighting and atmospheric effects to enhance the visual quality of the render which includes GI, reflections, fog and a realistic sky in addition to a total dynamic night and day system. Furthermore, D5 Render integrates with all major 3D software such as SketchUp, Rhino, Revit, Max, and Blender, which allows a seamless workflow between the two. On top of that, D5 has an amazing video editing workflow with a simple interface, in addition to real-time feedback and blazing fast rendering speed. With the latest 2.6 release, D5 introduced AI features that would make working on scenes even easier, mainly Atmosphere Match and AI Materials. Atmosphere Match attempts to match the overall environmental settings of your scene to any image that you want, while AI Generated Texture helps you generate all those secondary maps to elevate your textures automatically. By the way, if you want to try D5 for free, you can follow the link down in the description. Lumion is a software whose journey began from the ambition of two young programmers who founded Act3D in 1998. And after years of developing products like the Quest 3D Engine, they decided to switch their focus to developing a real-time 3D visualization engine for architecture, leading to the birth of the first version of Lumion. If we read between the lines, the idea behind the software was to offer a rendering engine for Archivist projects, which is not only capable of creating stunning photorealistic images in addition to videos and 360 panoramas at high speed, but also intuitive enough to go beyond architectural visualization for all sorts of stuff. To pull this off, the engine takes advantage of the magic of ray tracing to unlock real-time preview capabilities a method that allows you to explore every corner of your scene and you can do that with ease, thanks to the powerful denoiser that gives you an accurate presentation of what the final render will look like, which makes it easier to edit the scene. And speaking of this, let's not overlook Lumion LifeSync, which is an exciting plugin available for all major CAD software like SketchUp and Rhino, where you can make changes to your software with a design synchronization in the engine. Let's direct our focus now to Vintage, but in reality, what if I told you that it is V-Ray in disguise? A beloved render engine that made its debut in 2000 and has been continuously updated and improved over the years to make a name for itself in the architectural visualization scene. In addition to Film Productions, because it has been one of the most used software in the VFX industry by studios such as Digital Domain, Method Studios, and Blur. But what does Vintage have to do with all of this, you may ask? Well, it is a real-time 3D rendering software that allows us to explore V-Ray scenes in a 100% ray-traced and real-time environment. It is designed to provide instant feedback on V-Ray scenes and, why not, even producing high-quality renders and animations. It is also packed with a set of features 
to support this workflow. For example, we can just drag and drop our complete V-Ray scenes into Vintage and instantly start exploring without any complications, as well as a highly realistic real-time companion view, which you can use to adjust materials, lighting, and geometry. Last but not least, there is Unity, another major player in the commercial game engine's arena, alongside Unreal, of course. First launched in 2005, Unity dared to dream big with the ambition to democratize game development by making it more accessible to more developers. I think we can all agree that it was more than just successful at that, but what a lot of people don't know about it is that it is often used as a traditional real-time render engine, not just a game engine. Despite taking a considerable hit after the release of Unreal Engine 5 and not being as good as some of the other engines, Unity remains a safe bet when it comes to real-time rendering, with all the expected features. Among these, we have ray tracing global illumination, which just like how we have previously mentioned, simulates how light behaves and interacts with physical objects and materials to produce things like ambient occlusion, as well as achieving a photorealistic and stylized look. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.